And it sounds like a lot like the 2008 financial crisis, the global pandemic, the hurricanes, uh, all these um, uh, experiences have really exasperated uh, the, the conditions, the economic condition um, in, 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 in Puerto Rico. Wouldn't you agree? That's right. That's right. I mean, it's, it's been a series of folks call them compounding hazards, compounding disasters that have political, economic, and atmospheric dimensions, right? So Puerto Rico uh, never came out of the recession that the United States economy found itself in. Um, when the United States recovered, Puerto Rico never recovered. Part of the reason being that uh, Puerto Rico had just lost some of the tax incentives that the United States had adopted under the tax code. Uh, it was known as the Section 936, Mm -hmm. And this made it very prof profitable for pharmaceutical companies, among other manufacturing sectors, to establish themselves in Puerto Rico and extract a lot of profit, a lot of capital, without leaving much capital in there, with mm -hmm. the exception of the fiscal revenue that the Puerto Rico government gathered from income taxes of the people that these pharmaceutical companies employed. Mm -hmm. And that actually... Uh, it wasn't enough to meet all of the basic needs in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. but it avoided the major disaster that we're now in. Well, and consider that there's already a fiscal crisis, an economic crisis, and then comes Hurricane Maria in 2017, right? Uh, which was, of course, devastating. Uh, and the United States was not under an administration that was very uh, interested in providing much support. Mm -hmm. for um, Puerto Rico's uh, sufferings. And uh, after that, you see a global pandemic uh, and the economic shocks that that brought about. Um, and, and this is why folks are talking about compounding disasters, it's disaster after disaster. Mm -hmm. uh, and there gets to a point where once you lose so much working age population, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you have these huge obligations with folks who are in their older age and mm -hmm. young people uh, you're really in a difficult situation to run a successful economy in that context.